Greetings, my name is Mrs. Cheryl Watson-Harris, Superintendent of the DeKalb County School District. Watch this special video on our DeKalb County School District's Police Department's K-9 unit. These beautiful K-9s are highly trained, highly intelligent, and protect our schoolhouses and the DeKalb County School District community. They have a remarkable sense of smell to detect illegal drugs and activity and offer the very best in canine detection and safety. We are so grateful for our canine dogs who are the first to put their lives in danger to protect our community. Watch more on why I love DeKalb County School District's canines. My name is Sergeant Kerwin Hughes. Been with DeKalb County School District seven and a half years. I'm actually over, I'm a special ops sergeant, so I'm over the K-9 unit, as well as the criminal investigation division for the DeKalb County School District. How you doing? I'm Officer Antonio White with DeKalb County Schools K-9 unit. This is my partner, Kazan. He's a German Shepherd. He's from, uh, he's from Czech Republic. He's three years old. All right, now we're going to do a demonstration. Uh, we place contrabands in one of the lockers. We're going to let Kazan demonstrate how you locate contraband. Okay. Where's Skip? Where's Skip? Johnny Burnett, the Cap County Schools Police. This is my partner Dutch. He's a bomb dog and a gun dog. He's been with the Cap County School Police for probably four years. We had placed some ammunition in one of the lockers, and we're gonna have Dutch search for it. Come on, buddy. Show me. Show me. Show me. Where is it? Where is it? Here. Show me where it is. Is it here? Quit jumping and show me. Show me where it is. Which one is it? Show me. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. That's a boy. Good man. Good man. Dutch found a magazine with ammunition. My name is John Brooks, SRO, signed with DeKalb County School, and this is my partner, K-9 Rex. Rex is a German Shepherd that came from Czechoslovakia. Uh, he's been with the county now four years. All right, this is K-9 Rex, and we're gonna do a search in the sweep of the library here. Come on, let's go. Good boy, let's go. Come on, let's go. Okay, come on. Here, here, take him. Sit. Sit. Most people do think that, you know, all canines are uh, apprehension dogs. And of course, we don't have apprehension dogs at all because. The, we spoke to my guys, and we have the uh, we have the two narcotic dogs, and uh, Officer White's dog is also a tracking dog. Uh, so if we have anybody get lost. Uh, we have a school where we have to go find kids if they walk out and get lost. He actually can go out and, and, and track them if they go off through the woods or whatever. So we'll be able to locate them. Uh, this this is actually my first canine I'm working. Uh, my first time getting into it. Uh, once I came on. I used to watch the K-9 unit we had before, and uh, they disbanded the K-9 unit, but when they brought it back, I put it in for it and I actually got it, and uh, it, it's one thing I love. I think it's very important to have the K-9 unit with the, uh, the school district because they actually keep the school safe uh, from 
weapons, drugs. So I think it's very important to have the canines because what we do is we actually conduct uh, drills throughout the school district uh, as well as a lot of the buildings and anything here with the uh, school district. Now, uh, this is, Rex is my third dog. Uh, my first two dogs were uh, was Springer Spaniels. Uh, Rex is my first full-size dog, and now he and I have been together for uh, four years now. Each school I've gone to, uh, several different schools, the kids love him. Uh, they get to the point, they come in and ask about him. You know, they want to know how we train them. Uh, uh, what do they find? How do they find it? Um, basically, kids just come in and just ask questions like that. And the kids, they, they love them. Uh, every time I leave a school to go to another school, they always call and ask me when I'm coming back. Or if I see kids in the neighborhood or somewhere or working somewhere, the first thing they ask about is Rex. When Rex coming back here? So the kids and the community loves them. Every school I've been to with him, the staff, students, and administration, they've loved him. Uh, Everybody at Tucker Middle School wants me to bring him in every day so they can pet him for hours on end. But I tell him, you know, I can't do that. You can pet him for a little while and then he's got to go to work. Uh, the kids at the school love him. Uh, we walk through the halls, you know, if I'm just walking through the halls, they always ask me, where's Kazan? When, when you gonna bring Kazan out? Why you leave him in the office? So they, you know, they want him out. Um, when I first, when, I, when we first got back, we had a little problem at school with, you know, with country band, uh, until they start seeing us walking around searching, you know, that actually stopped. But uh, the kids, they love it. Well, I've had Dutch for about a year, and he and I live on 60 acres, and we get out and run around and play and have a good time. He helps me uh, get through good times, bad times, and he's just like part of my family. He, it's only he and I that live together, and I treat him like I guess my fourth son, and uh, he's just having a good life. He's making my life better. The biggest thing when I went to school for him, I was in school for six weeks, uh, just trying to learn all his commands. All his commands are in check. So uh, with me, while I was down there for six weeks, my thing was to get adapted to him and also learn all his commands. Yeah, well, that's, he is a part of the family. Uh, I take, some, I take him home. If I'm not there, uh, whatever I needs to be done, my son picks up uh, the task of uh, feeding him, uh, getting into bed. Uh, Rex is the type of dog, he's like me. He has to be in bed every night at uh, eight o'clock. And he comes in, eat, and just sit in the backyard and barks at the cats. And then we bring him inside the house uh, at a certain time. And he sleeps all night and don't, I don't hear him. If he barks at night, then I know some, something is wrong outside, but he's a big part of the family. It's, it's a huge benefit and we'd like to add more dogs to, to the unit, okay? Um, I, it's, a, it's a great investment because we have actually been keeping the school safe with some of the items that we have found during our searches. Um, we've recovered uh, drugs, we've recovered knives, guns, um, as well as, I mean, stun guns. Uh, pepper sprayed. I mean, these dogs are, are great. So it's been a huge investment, uh, great investment for the district. Um, so dogs do, do a great job. And when we're not out doing searches at the school, the dogs train uh, each and every week. The stuff that he can smell, we can't smell it. Uh, like the vape pens, they, they, they're vaping now. Uh, the dogs can smell it, but as humans, we can't smell it. Uh, but it, it's, it's a big deterrent for the schools. The kids, they see the dogs around and, and it stops them from doing a lot of things though. Just know when the K-9 unit shows up at your school, we are there for your safety. Please embrace the K-9 unit and support us. And we thank you.